you were telling me that your grandfather went to uh, Ghana every year. Mm -hmm. And so you have these, you have like, I'm sure stories from childhood. Yeah. Um, yeah, I always had a, a positive, you know, idea of what Ghana was in my head. Um, Cause they would go for like the whole, like, I mean months they would go mm -hmm. and they would bring everybody. Um, and so they would travel in a group of 15 and this is mm -hmm. like the late eighties, early nineties where it wasn't, I'm sure not as pleasant of an experience as we're having to go there, but always came back with very positive stories, always came back with different gifts. And I mean, I knew I knew what the Sankofa bird was mm. at a very, very, very early age. In fact, our pilot episode is called Scientific Sankofa. Ooh, okay. And so Tell us about that. <laughs> Just on that alone. Okay. I'm subscribing. What is that? What That's in those jeans, the podcast, in those jeans pod. You can follow that on Instagram and Twitter. What, what is that about Sankofa science? Please help. Yeah. Me. So we call our pilot episode Scientific Sankofa because we see genetics as being a scientific Sankofa. Mm. And so the Sankofa principle pretty much states that you go back and fetch it. It's a positivity, um, positivity going back and doing what you, you know remembering your ancestors and bringing all of that positivity forward to push you and so we kind of think of genetics as being a, a part of that Sankofa principle mm. you know you're learning from your past to really empower you and push you forward um and so that's why we called it scientific Sankofa but yeah I mean I grew up in that my grandfather was installed as a chief um in Ghana so I always had like you know, very positive things to say about Ghana. Did you go to the W.E.B. Du Bois house? I went by it, but I said I went, I went on Roland's um, feet and I was like, okay, that's just You've like that there? sword. No, the sword that you can't pull out of the ground. I was mm. like, that's the same thing. I'm not doing that. Mm. What do you mean the sword? Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, So you... there's the sword that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the legend of the sword, oh, like an Excalibur yeah. where you can't, you know, so I went to that and I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like I could see it on Google. I don't need to I be. I could, here. and that's that's what I, I thought. thought. I mean, you know, it's his house. I know. I get it. It was nice. I get it. I and enjoyed I, it. Okay. Well, and I, but he wasn't there long, so he came there at ninety three, and he left there at ninety three. Mm. And I'm gonna say that I'm gonna leave it. I have thoughts. We'll, Girl, we'll we don't have it. this offline we'll conversation. Talk, we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about <laughs> so it. Sankofa. <laughs> no, but like I, what, the the principle of Sankofa. So for people who don't know the the symbol, like there's the heart version of the symbol, but yeah. it's the actual bird symbol, and it's an image of a bird that's walking in one direction, and its head is turned back in the direction from which it came, and it's got this egg in its mouth, and that egg represents its history, its origins, and my Black Americanish version or interpretation of it is like I can't know where I'm at. I can't, definitely can't know where I'm going, but I don't even really know where I'm at mm -hmm. until I've gone back to my past and have made the connections that I need, particularly for people who have been forcibly separated from our past. It's a very important thing to have an ongoing, what we call in, in our work, a Sankofa journey. And so, again, whether you physically go or not, being able to have a, a, an intellectual, spiritual, whatever you want to call it, connection to Africa that allows you to see it the way your grandfather raised you to see it, as this beautiful place, as an amazing opportunity, as a one, place filled with opportunity, not as a place the way we see it on commercials and late night TV, but really being able to see See the intellectual, the 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 architectural, the brilliance that African people are, regardless of what we're being taught. That Sankofa journey on a metaphysical level, yeah, on a physical level. But if you never get there, we as black people in the diaspora have got to be able to fall in love with ourselves as descendants of Africa, to fall in love with Africa as a part of our healing from all the 400 years of trauma that has taught us to hate it. Mm -hmm. So that's why, like when you said the first thing is scientific Sankofa, I'm like, girl, you got you a new subscriber. I'm in. I'm all in. I don't know nothing about genetics. <laughs> what we just talked about, but I'm in. Yes.